Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In uh, today's video, we're just going to quickly go over how existing remodded and vanilla++ plus plus players uh, can transfer over to the new public launcher. Um, I apologize for any hassle ahead of time that, you know, this might involve, um, but hopefully this video and, and stuff will make it easy and, uh, you know, won't be too big of a deal. Um, so with that said, um, just real quickly, we did release a new public version of our kind of in-house launcher. Um, it's called D2R Launch, and there's a couple places you can get it. Um, you can get it from our modding tools section under the D2R Launch post. Um, you'll learn more about that. There's a demo video if you'd like to uh, watch it, but importantly, you can get the download link from here. It's also in our Read Me Please section in the Launcher Install Guide and Download area. Uh, once more, you can uh, view the demo and you can also just uh, download the file. Um, so once you've done that, um, you're just going to see a single folder, uh, D2R Launch. Um, this is the new, again, uh, version of the launcher that is also uh, usable with other mods now. Um, and it comes with a couple benefits, one of them being uh, you can put this folder anywhere you like instead of uh, it being required to be in your main uh, Diablo 2 folder. Uh, so if you want to put this on your desktop or, you know, probably on an external drive or something, uh, you know, you can probably feel free to do that. Um, so with that said, you no longer need the old remodded files folder. If you'd like to delete that after you made sure the other one's working just fine, then be my guest. Um, all future development, uh, you know, for remodded vanilla plus plus, et cetera, um, will be assuming that you are using the, uh, you know, new version of the launcher. Um, so again, just feel free to get rid of that. Um, so once we've put that wherever you'd like, again, I'm uh, going to just use like a, my desktop as an example. That's where I put it. Um, it'll work a lot like it used to. You got the launcher, stasher, updater. Uh, you never run these directly. Um, they're just there. Um, so always we're just going to go to the launcher and you got your, uh, you know, D2R launch.exe. Um, so we're going to run that. If you have .NET errors, definitely check out the kind of install guide video. Um, to, to fix that, um, but this will be the, the new launcher um, and that should get you going with everything. Um, you can still select your different mods, um, but now as you can see, I downloaded a whole bunch of mods testing things. Um, you can also select other mods um, and enable a lot of those same options on those mods as well. Um, so it's basically just like a universal tool and that's why everything had to be kind of redesigned and there's a new download and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, sorry for the confusion, um, but go ahead and uh, follow those instructions and you should be good to go. Uh, thanks for sticking around to the end. Have a great day. Bye.